Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this Mo3 murder investigation, man, things seem to be developing in this situation rapidly, I should say, because this murder investigation is coming together like a big puzzle, man. They're getting pieces here, they're getting pieces there, and everything is coming together as they like. Now, today, man, the Department of Justice and the U.S. State's Attorney's Office in the Northern District of Texas went on record by adding another, not suspect, but someone who's affiliated to this case. Now, there was a gentleman, he was found with a large cache of uh, drugs and weapons and whatnot, and it looks like it might play a part in this whole Mo3 murder investigation because the suspect, Kiwan Dontrell White, is actually also a suspect in that case, man. So it's, man, this thing is going to blow up big. I'm talking about... It looks like there's a lot of connections here and a lot of things taking place. And man, the rumor on the streets is, man, these people connected to each other are also connected to another rapper. And no, I'm not talking Go Yeah Yo, I'm talking about somebody else. Now, before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this situation going on in Texas, man. Or I should say specifically Dallas, man. Now, everybody knows by now that there was a suspect found in the murder three in the Mo3 murder investigation. Now, it was a gentleman by the name of Kiwan White. Now, Kiwan White is innocent until proven guilty. He has every right, you know what I'm saying, as far as that goes. Nobody's saying that he did that, and we're not gonna allude to that in this video. But he is a suspect, and man, a lot of these things that are coming together are in favor of the prosecution and they haven't even been to court yet. Now, for those of you who have been living under a rock and you don't know what's going down or what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fact that rap artist Mo3 lost his life about a month ago. Yesterday, his suspected, one of the suspects in the in the murder were actually found, man, and that was Kiwan Dontrell White. Now, Kiwan White is a 22-year-old gentleman from Dallas, Texas, with a lengthy arrest record, man. He's got loose affiliations with a lot of rap artists. He's been in music videos with, allegedly with Trap Boy Freddy, which, man, with uh, his own music videos. He's got affiliations with Go Yeah Yo, man. Dude is known throughout Dallas. Now, these affiliations don't mean that those rappers had any involvement in the untimely death and demise of Mo3, but, man, they do paint a picture and add to a narrative that this thing might just be deeper than rap and it might just be deeper than cap because the U.S. Attorney State's Office, they're building a case that looks like they're painting this as a murder for hire. Now, that's all alleged. Nobody has actually said that any other rapper hired Mr. White to do this murder, but man, that's what it's looking like in building. Now, where do I draw this conclusion from? Let's look at the information that the U.S. State's Attorney office in northern district of texas put out today man so they put out they put out a um a statement and basically it said that dallas men charged with gun and drug crimes now in this statement they mentioned the rapper mo3 now that's big to tie his name into this statement about this this gun related charge and drug related charge is something so there's all already some type of affiliation right and it reads as such. It says, Kiwan Dontrell White, 22, was indicted on one count of felony in possession of a firearm. Mr. White, who is now facing a Dallas County murder charge in the death of rapper Melvin Noble, also known as Mo3, was arrested by ATF, the U.S. Marshal Service, and Dallas Police Department patrol officers Wednesday in Dallas Oak Cliff neighborhood. Known affiliate, Devin Maurice Brown Jr., 27, was indicted on one count of felony in possession of a firearm and one count of conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute a controlled sus substance. He was arrested on November 19th at his residence in Oak Cliff. Now, why in the world would they add that in there as well? Well, there's some type of affiliation between the new name that we just got. That's Mr. Devin Maurice Brown. Now, if you look up the mugshot, there's several Devin Maurice Browns in Dallas. It's hard to pin down which one is actually him, 
But, man, there's a lot of rumors going on that he's also affiliated with a lot of cats in the music industry as far as Texas rap. Now, Texas rap and Dallas rap has been having such a scene right now. I'm talking about they've got some really big names out there that are doing big things. You've got Yellow Beezy in his camp. Now, Yellow Beezy is a solidified superstar. You know, he has hit songs the whole nine. Then you've got Trap Boy Freddy. And Trap Boy Freddy is pretty much like the king of Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff, Oak Cliff is his stomping ground. It's where he has his shot. It's where he's got most of his fans. And he's just known as an Oak Cliff dude, man. When you think of Oak Cliff when it comes to Dallas, you think of none other than Trap Boy Freddy. And then you got Go Yayo, who's actually from Fort Worth. Now, all things combined, man, you see where the, the picture's going to be painted or the potential for the inclusion of another rapper in this scenario. Now, I don't want to point anybody out specifically, but man, the streets are talking, the streets are talking. Now, that's all 100% alleged, you know? Just because Dallas has a popping scene right now and they've got artists that are beefing, because for those of you who don't know, all of those artists had an issue with Mo3. I'm talking about all of them. It's almost like a episode of the old TV show, Dallas, where you're like, well, who had the biggest problem and who would actually go to that extent to, you know, see so, some harm done to Mo3? Now, I doubt that any of these gentlemen are that stupid. Now, I wouldn't leave that. I wouldn't say that they, it's impossible, but I would hope that they wouldn't be that stupid to make a rap beef, a street beef and take things to that level. But this thing painting out as a murder for hire has a high potential of happening. I mean, unless they can find some way where Mr. White had his own beef with with um, Mo3. And that's only saying that Mr. White is the actual shooter. He's still innocent as far as I know because he hasn't been convict convicted of anything. The one thing that's crazy is the gentleman, Mr. Devin Brown, who was, just in, who was indicted, also with him was found with an AK-47 and the AK for and and a, and a cache of drugs. Now the AK-47 was unregistered, and I don't know if it matches the ballistics of the weapon that was used in the shooting of Mo3. But man, there are a lot of variables out here that match with the case that have a lot of comparisons to what we've seen so far. We've seen a picture of a gunman running down the highway with a long rifle in his hands was that an ak-47 or not i do not know and i'm sure we'll find out before long the more that each piece of evidence is revealed the more the fans are starting to reach out and wonder man if another rapper was really involved in what took place with mo3 you know it was a sad situation a horrible occurrence in hip-hop and we hate to see it go down like that nobody's happy that went down but the fans definitely want answers and things are going kind of crazy right now because it seems like they're working overtime to crack this case and we're here for it because man, as each thing is revealed, each piece of evidence is going out in the media, man, it draws us closer and closer to seeing who actually was responsible. And I'm pretty sure that all of the bodies that are working towards this are gonna achieve that goal. It's like a lot of different agencies working in conjunction. Now with that, hold up. Now, what do you guys think, man? What do you think about the new suspect, Devin Brown, being added to the case as far as the gun charge is concerned or the weapons case is concerned? And do you think that has any type of affiliation to what went down in the Mo3 case? Because he is affiliated, according to the law enforcement, with uh, the suspect in that case as well. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.